Today I want to uh, test the AC charger that is coming with the Volkswagen Yup to see what is capable of doing and how the car is performing while it's charging uh, via AC. The charger, as you can see in spec, uh, is able to deliver 10 amps over uh, AC. So this is about two kilowatts of power that it's able to deliver to the car, which is half of the capacity the car can charge the DC battery. And this thing is huge. Um, the charger is a proxy from the Shuko cable on this, cable, this uh, outlet to the car, this outlet here. It's only proxying the, the power. So uh, I don't know why it's limiting two kilowatts, but uh, if it is what it, if it is like three three point five kilowatts, that will be perfect because the car can charge uh, faster using the Shuko uh, cable. So now let's plug the the charger and see how fast he, it is charging the car. I'll move this. Look, the charger. You can see here that it's blinking that it cannot detect the car. I take the cable and plug the cable into the car. Now you can see that the car locks the outlet here. And if this light is becoming green, then the car uh, will start charging. There is little time between uh, the process of charging to, to, to get started, because it's negotiating with the, with the, with the charger. Uh, the charger actually is blinking red. It doesn't detect that there's a ground. Let me unplug it. Let's see. Again. Now let's see. Okay, now it's started to charge. And the car is green. Let's enter the car and see what's the parameters of the charge. This is the OBD11 up. It's already connected with my car and I can uh, read the virus through the uh, OBD port. You can see that it is charging with around 4.5 amps. And if you multiply the amps times the voltage, you will see the, what the wattage that you see inserted into the car. It's around 1.6, 1 uh, 1.7 uh, kilowatt of, of power. One thing that I notice is that whenever uh, I want to heat the car, let's say I want to uh, need this one, turn on the heater. Usually when this is done while I'm not charging, it's becoming hot here and the consumption increases around five kilowatts. But whenever I am charging the car using the, the the car AC, then the heater doesn't doesn't work. It works only the fans because yeah, the consumption is very low. It's not normal. Uh, if the heater is on, the consumption will be uh, more like uh, one or two kilowatts. If I remove the headlights, you will see that it's not possible the heater to run it that levels and the consumption to be so low so keep in mind that if you are charging the car using the the ac charger but the ones that is coming with the car uh, then you're not able to uh, use the heater let me turn off the fans because it's becoming noisy uh, and turn on the headlights uh, you can see that the car is around 45-46% uh, state of charge and when you open the door 
you will see how much time the car needed to fully charge the car so for 50 54 55 uh, percent it requires 4. Uh, 4 hours and 25 minutes So uh, this is from the charger. I'm not pleased with the charger because it's uh, uh, very low in power. It requires a lot of time to charge the car. Uh, and uh, if I want to charge the car faster, this charger is not uh, able to do it. So that's from me. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.